right back again with another video i want to apologize i don't know what's going on with my camera it looks very looks bad looks fuzzy looks like a bunch of sparkles in it i used the cheap uh apps the free apps i don't have money to purchase any apps or nothing like that and i use of course the laptop camera and all that i don't have any special microphone to talk into no, no camera nothing like that so let me apologize for that i'm just getting it to you the best i can amen um well let me just speak on this there's a couple of things i want to do tonight feeling there to do but we all know that october's coming okay and Fall's coming, amen. And, and uh, fall or Adam, I mean, autumn sounds a lot like Adam. Fall of man, uh, October has a holiday that many so called Christians like to participate in. And if I'm to be honest with you, I've participated in it. In times past, uh, when I was very young and uh, lower 20s, maybe even teens, and uh, as an adult, I have never participated in it, as far as I know, as far as in my 30s. Um, and the reason why is if you start to do some of the research on how the jack o' lantern came to be, and may do a teaching on it, jack o' lantern. And what the jack o' lantern is, and, and um, what All Hallows Eve is, and Halloween is, you start to see that it's outright pagan. There's nothing Christian about it. You can't find jack o' lantern in the Bible. You can't find uh, 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 um, Halloween in the Bible. You know, all those things. But you will find um, harvest time and, and, and uh, what is it? Uh, there's seasons, there's seasons, seasonal things. But none of the modern day holidays, if you will, there's, there's feasts written in the Bible. And that's what we're supposed to keep as Christians. And not really holidays, if you will. They're holy days, holy days. And there's a difference that, that the Catholic Church and the Romans and the pagans and all of them got together, the Laodiceans and, and the carnality Christians, and they came up with the fabrication. It's no different than what they're trying to do today. They're trying to bring the Episcopals with the Methodists, with the uh, Catholics, with the Lutherans, with the Calvinists, and so on down the road. And God was telling me, he was showing me that, that um, he has um, the devil. The devil has his minions in every church in some way, shape, form, or fashion. And they're trying to influence, influence, influence uh, these worldly things. But meanwhile, you have, uh, it's like a fist fight. You got the devil punching and God punching. And every shot that, that, a minister takes the minister gives one back in rebuke um or he should or she if you want to call it you know whatever but uh we got to have a backbone as christians we got to have a backbone uh to be against these things and come out of it don't don't be partakers of her sins the bible says amen don't set up under homosexual pastors don't set up under um 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 wolves and sheep's clothing don't partake in um worldly uh ceremonies and worldly uh party atmosphere atmospheric type situations but enough about all that until another time i'm, I'm not going to stop speaking on it and rebuking it i'm just going to end that portion of it for now now um, recently, I had to go to somebody's house, and I had to pray for somebody. I'm not going to call their name out. I wouldn't do that. I'm going to keep it discreet. 
But I want to, it, it was powerful. It was powerful. It was a powerful move of God. It was a good testimony. And this person, they, they're going through some things, they're going through a lot of things, and they're battling this or that. I'm not going to get into all the details. But what I will say is, they said that they had something going on with the arm and their hand and their elbows, but particularly right in this area here. And so I grabbed, a, I grabbed a hand and I started praying. And I started moving with boldness and power. And I felt something sort of like do this. And then it like left at the elbow. It went out. It was like crawling, a bunch of creepy crawlies. And then the Lord showed me what those creepy crawlies were, were actually spiders in his veins going up and down. Now, you're either going to think I'm crazy or anointed. You're either going to think I'm crazy or anointed. Either way it goes, I have scripture backing. If you're looking at me like, what's going on? What's this guy talking about? Turn with me to Luke. And, and uh, cha chapter 10 and verse 19. Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. I'll be reading from the King James. It says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Now I was standing in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. <laughs> That's good stuff. See, God was operating in me because the Bible says, oh, I feel like I could shout glory. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says that there's a Lamb's book of life. And if your name is not found in there, and he says, depart from me, I never knew you. But he says, if your name is found in there, you will enter in to his holy presence. Ain't that so awesome that you could do works just like Jesus did? He's given us the operations. He's given us the Holy Ghost. He's given us the power to tread over serpents, scorpions, and spiders. That's awesome. And the Bible also says, in my name, you shall cast out devils. And then I've, I've, said, I've said it many times. It goes on to say other things that they can do and speak in tongues and, uh, and uh, lay hands on the sick and they shall be healed. You know, it's real, folks. I want to tell you, it's real. And I'm going to keep this going here tonight because there's something going on on the face of the earth. I've seen tonight more videos of street ministers out than I've seen in a long time, and they're all doing it together. Look, God is doing something, and tonight, right now, tonight, on Saturday, nonetheless, preparing for Sunday as the influx will carry over, praise God. I pray that the mighty move of God continues into the night, all through the night, over into the morning, praise God. God be with you, street ministers out there tonight. May God keep you safe and under his shelter and wings and protected by his mighty right hand. Praise God. Holy salute to the Holy Club. I'm going to be right back with a couple of testimonies, a couple of personal testimonies of me. Amen. That was a testimony of another that I went to him and prayed. But I'm going to be right back with a couple of other testimonies about how the devil tried to steal my ministry and take my life. But God wouldn't allow it. Holy salute to the Holy Club. I'll be right back with another. God bless you. Keep preaching. Keep keep teaching out there. Amen. I feel a move of the uh, Holy Ghost. God's doing something tonight. I feel a move of God. On the face of the globe he's trying to tell us something he's trying to warn us of something something big is coming something dangerous is coming to this world something dangerous is coming to the east coast watch out for the skies 
and the signs of the times of the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift your head, your redemption draws nigh. Oh, glory. Get your hearts right. Get your mind right with Jesus. Turn to Jesus Christ. He is the answer of all we face in these final times, in these final hours. Amen. There's something big coming, both good and bad, both judgment and wrath. But God is also going to bless his people. He's going to bless his people. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. I'm going to wait to 11. When this video gets to 11, I'm going to turn it off. I feel so good right now. I feel the anointing and the power of God on me. It feels so good. Thank you, Jesus.